This book slaps. Hi friends, I opted for a non-Jaws joke for the open, and I know it wasn't much of a joke. But I could have said I need a bigger shelf and all that. Um, that has been done to much acclaim and amusement, but I wasn't going to do that on this channel. I previously interviewed Wendy Benchley, John Anthony DiGiovanni, and unboxed the artist edition of this book. I've done also a Jaws book review. So I have a lot of Jaws content out there, but today is the main show, the headlining act, the numbered edition, and I can't wait to get to it. So that's what we're going to do. It came in a huge box for a couple of reasons. There, This is an oversized edition. It also has a piece of shelf candy, uh, a piece of shelf candy that I haven't gotten from Suntup since Silence of the Lambs, where you got that little lamb. And it is a silent lamb, so that's good. <laughs> and I forgot, I totally forgot, when I did the Artist Edition, it came in blue foam. So this also has the blue foam. Love that touch, love it. And it's thick, thick blue foam, thickness. Super thickness. Has uh, limited premiums. I'll show these at the end because I, I'm itching. I'm itching to get to this. But I'll show the limited premiums. Also has this, uh, a little letter about Jaws. The leather chosen for this edition is a vegetable tanned smooth goatskin, which has not been stripped in tanning and has had no grain manipulation or embossing. Please be aware that the leather may exhibit naturally occurring markings and or scars. As with almost all leather imperfections, we feel this adds to the character of the leather, leather and is not considered a defect. If you have any questions or concerns, reach out by sending an email to support at suntupeditions.com. Most importantly, we hope you enjoy this edition. Now that note is similar to the conversation that happened around Charlie. If you remember my Charlie unboxing, uh, I didn't call it out in the video, but we did discuss this maybe on some lives. Uh, the back of my Charlie uh, and Charlie in the Chocolate Factory numbered edition has a scar in the leather. And that is normal. It wasn't damage. It wasn't somebody running their key over the leather on the back. It's something that's, because this is an animal's hide, it's a scar on the animal. And then when it's used and repurposed for book binding and stretched over a book, it can appear. So I think Paul's getting ahead of that. There's also something on the website that talks about quality issues with these high-end materials. It's a crash course for a lot of people, for sure. And I think Paul's getting ahead of it with that note. That said, let's just go, let's just get into this. Um, I will pull out the little critters piece. This is interesting. So this is its own acrylic cube. That is fun, man. That is fun. It's a little critter shark in a cube with the Suntup logo. That is amazing. I, I don't think, uh, I've seen anything like that and I like it because then you could display it and it's not a super pricey, you know, resin cube that locks the critter in there, but it's a great piece of display um, protection. So that will go up there. Love that touch. But of course we can't delay any further. So this is a cool caps enclosure. Suntup's previous capped enclosures were um, vertical. This is a horizontal piece. You, if you could feel it, it feels, it feels like leather. It feels um, like skin, shark skin maybe. And this is a very cool piece on the outside. I'm looking at it and I'm not filming it. Sorry. Look at that. Very cool cap. 
enclosure. So this is a charcoal illustration from Robert Longo and it's printed on pearlescent cloth. So that, if you have any idea of what that is, then you can get a sense of what I'm feeling right now by touching it, but it is gorgeous. I, I think it's amazing. So let's open it up and get to the candy. So there's the cap to it and you have this bit of blue um, that holds the book and then you could see the effect of the fin over the blue of the water so you get that effect from the book and there's the book look at that book so the book is bound this is considered a quarter leather binding normally the quarter leather is again vertical along the spine but in this case the quarter is at the top and it's horizontal to get the effect of the water oh this is goat skin leather for the top and this is a laser cut bonded leather inset for the effect of that fin and this is japanese cloth beautiful blue beautiful shimmery blue are you in the depths are you in the depths with the shark are you there oh beautiful boards love the binding love that and of course it is an amazing oh man look at those end sheets oh that those end sheets are bonkers love it and there is bonus content in here in it uh including the different titles for the book. Peter Benchley was considering. There's a title page with the frontispiece. Tons, tons, tons of bonus content. Again, if you've never read this book, I highly encourage you to read it. Maybe pair it with Cujo to get a creature horror fix oversized beautiful this is not letterpress it's uh, printed offset on mohawk loop paper let's look at the signatures we got wendy benchley and john anthony di giovanni as signatories in this book mine of course is copy number 23 and there's the bite mark out of the page paul couldn't resist couldn't resist that and I couldn't resist showing you some of the bonus content um, the Robert Castle illustrations and sketches for for Jaws the, the iconic shark eating the swimmer image exceptional artwork and I think it presented quite a challenge to John Anthony Di Giovanni to create works for something that had such iconic imagery already attached to it. So the bonus content contains original typed title page on which Benchley crossed out the original title and penned the title Jaws. Benchley's handwritten list of possible titles. A letter from Benchley to co-producer David Brown with honest feedback on the movie adaptation. Excerpts from Benchley's book, Shark Trouble, highlighting his firsthand account of writing Jaws, selling it to Universal Studios, and working with Steven Spielberg. And then Roger Castle's preliminary sketches for Jaws. I love it when the bonus content is included because then it becomes the definitive edition, not just for the materials and the signatures and all the special things that surround the book, but also the content of the book. There are things in it that can only be found here and well worth putting on your shelf. Jaws is a huge title in no small thanks to the movie. So this has a huge fan base. And I think anybody who's a fan of the movie owes it to themselves to get the book because the book adds layers to the story despite what Steven Spielberg felt. This was a great read and it, it was a lot 
more complex than I anticipated when I first read it. So you can check out my review on the channel. It's there. And as well as my interviews with Wendy Benchley, charming, wonderful woman, very generous with her time, had a lot of great things to say about um, her conservation work and very important stuff she's done to save the shark populations. As well as my interview with John Anthony Giovanni and the challenges he faced creating the illustrations. But what a great day, what a great addition to my shelf. And I'll include pictures at the end so you can get a closer look. But until then, until I see you next time with the next unboxing, have a book, have a beverage, and stay frosty.